50 year old man and after having my ladder accident and I'm ripping my shoulder apart and I'm still going through rehab and I'm still struggling. I, I can't do things. I can't really lift anything. And I go so go through some good days and some bad days. And we're gonna switch the album side. But I go through some good days and some bad days. And uh, I can't lift my arm. And you know, having a bat or trying just to defend myself physically, I don't know if I can do it now. Now, my mind says I'll kick your freaking ass, you know, but my body is is, is going to dictate a whole different thing. Um, I, I don't know if I could, you know, and, and knowing how much my arm does hurt my shoulder, I don't think I could defend myself in a, you know, fist to cuff kind of thing anymore so you know I have to be realistic I need something that's gonna help me along um, another thing to keep in consideration and at least I could speak for myself I can't speak for everybody else I'm gonna tell you again I was never a gun advocate I wasn't um, an anti-gun guy either I personally just you know I didn't think I needed one but, you know, when you see what is going on and you see the Obama-Hillary agenda, if you don't think this shit is real, um, you need to fucking wake the fuck up because Obama is letting these political refugees in this country without vetting them and finding out who they are. As a matter of fact, there's a bunch of... Um, Afghanistan people that came into this country to uh, learn military tactics that have disappeared into the wind that are now roaming our country and you have no idea what their agenda is. There are refugees also who are coming into this country that we don't know where they went. We, and I discussed this, I don't know, a couple of episodes ago, how along the Mexican border, how there was um, a particular instance where on there were actual terrorists coming into this country that some were caught and some got in. And, and, you, and you talk about Trump wanting to build a wall and how absurd that idea is. I got news for you people. Mexico's got a wall on the other side to keep everybody out. So why is that so far-fetched? And then you see Hillary, you know, moons ago saying, yeah, build a wall. You hear the Bill Clinton saying about how we should keep these people out, but that's not really what's going on. And I got news for you. I don't try to get all caught up on just hypothecation. I look at what these freaking actual people are saying, and then I look at what's really actually going on. I go by facts. I, I, I don't go by fiction. But knowing that I live within a mile and change of where all these riots were going on, when I did take my dog for a walk around the block, and he didn't want to walk anymore. You could feel the tension in the air. And, you know, animals have a good sense of something's up. You know, and he's hearing all the helicopters and everything going on. It's not a comfortable feeling. I'm sorry, it's just not. And I've got the mayor who lives, literally, her backyard is two backyards behind me. I've got people who come up my private driveway doing 360s in my backyard. I don't know who these fucking people are. And this is a private private um, residence. It's not like an apartment complex, but it's a two, four family home, family um, dwellings. So there's eight families that live with a single driveway that goes into the back with a little mini parking lot. These people come in, they're not allowed to be back here. I got people coming in my, my hallways because uh, we can't, and we're not allowed to lock that front door because they want to know that the, the mail person come in. I get people coming in and out of my freaking hallway, knocking on doors. We don't know who these freaking people are. There's a sign out there that says no soliciting, yet they still come in. 
And and these these buildings, they're not made like they used to in the back in the day. The doors, you know, made out of brick. You know, I'm exaggerating a little bit. They're fucking hollow pieces of fucking plastic. Anybody can get in there if they fucking want to. And if I'm not home, I gotta worry. You know, that my wife could get hurt or my dog can die because some idiot kicks in my door and kicks my dog. I'm not I'm not cool with that. Okay? We've had the cops come in here. And we've called the cops on numerous occasions because of even past neighbors who live a different lifestyle. And, and in some instances, it's just solicitors coming in. And I got news for you. The police department is less than a, a mile away from my house. And then there's another department, the sheriff's department, where I go, where I went to go get my car- carry and conceal. I'm just waiting for my card. That's right where the riots were, okay? Within that mile and change. And it takes them 15 minutes to a half an hour to get to my house. It's two minutes away. I got news for you. I need that protection. So, when you hear what these people on the anti-gun say, and they say you've got no right and want to infringe on your Second Amendment right, what they're really saying is they want you to be submissive. That's a Hitler mentality. And I'm sorry. I'm anti-Hitler. As I am anti-Hillary. I don't want these assholes in my country no more. I don't care if it was Hillary or if it was Trump. What I do care is I want my freedom to say what I want to say. I want my freedom to be able to protect myself. I don't want these assholes in my country. And I want someone at the top that's going to protect me and shore up my borders and and not let this riffraff come in, okay? I don't like the Hillary Obama agenda infringing on my rights. These are my God-given rights, which is what the Constitution is based on. Again, I don't care if they get rich. All politicians are about greed. All billionaires are still about greed. What I care about and what you should care about, and I'll speak for myself, my life, my breath, and my decision to live it. When you dismiss without a valid rebuttal I am done with you, and that's why you get blocked, okay? Now, Hillary now saying, because Trump says these crass statements about how he wants dinner on the table. He doesn't want to come home to an executive. He wants to come home to a wife. He called someone disgusting. He discussed about how they got a boob job, how appearance is pertinent. You wouldn't be where you are if you didn't look the way you do. You women decided to change your appearance. You women decided to get a boob job. What? Women. Again, you did this to yourself. If you don't like what I'm saying, you could fuck off. And if Hillary becomes president, because Hillary's now got an ad saying that she'll become president because women are going to vote. So I ask you women, if that happens, and the Islamic extremist movement comes in like it already is because she's a woman at a leadership position with Obama and they arrive at your door can we then blame women for the demise of our country or are you women gonna go oh no it's you men fuck out of here Get the fuck out of here. 
So, as I'm changing to the second or third side of ZZ Top, La Futura, should us men then decide because the Islamic movement wants you to convert and you don't want to and then should we just watch these Islamic men put you in a hole you've heard me say this before because I've seen it happen get stoned to death because you don't want to convert to Islam or should we just sit there and watch you get raped because the Islamic extremist men think it's their right to do that and when the oversaturation of these people if Hillary gets in and continues the Obama agenda not shoring up who comes in this country and vet these people accordingly to know that when you come into America you should be living the American dream not the Islamic dream that's a religion if you want to practice your religion go ahead but don't be walking around our blocks covering your face when you look at videos again I don't go by what people say the visual it's the action and these fucking people these women are piggybacking with the men knowing that they could use that to their advantage and carry an AR-15 fully automatic forget the semi-automatic that our country has infringed on us which is fine I got no problem with some limitations on you know the guns you know the right people should own the guns I don't think people who have a criminal record should have a gun i.e. all these shootings that stemmed into these um, demonstrations that actually proved nothing because these people are criminals and actually ask for it because they're carrying a gun illegally and distributing drugs illegally. Hello? But these women in the Islamic extremist movement utilizing, the, as my grandmother would say, the shmata that they cover their whole bodies with while they're carrying an automatic you know, gun to spray bullets. No, I don't like them walking around my streets covering their face. To me, I don't like that. Just like all these clowns walking up on people's lawns and think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. You shouldn't have the right to put fear into people. That's not what God is about. Good over deception. Good over demons. That's what life should be about. So, women, again, you're going to be okay with Sharia law? And if you think it's not real, go look in Texas how children in school are being forced to pray to Allah. It's no fucking joke. So, yeah, protecting my rights will need protection. And that equals a firearm. And, yeah... I do need an AR-15, because I don't think if four or five or six or seven people are trying to push in my door, that a pistol is going to be able to handle the workload. An AR-15, even if it's semi-automatic, is going to do the job. And you, let's go back to you millennials. You know nothing. You can't even tell us about history. You can't even tell about the American way of life. What it was like here in America in the 20s, in the 30s, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and even 80s. And you can even go before that, before we even had the Constitution, when it was American Indians who roamed their country, I should say. You British and you French forced yourself upon America but some of those people who did come over here and granted it wasn't a pretty sight in the beginning no slavery was not a good idea but black people hello that's been over for years your plight is your plight we'll go back to those statistics that are fact that you 13% of the population